Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about thermostat by Emerson model number 1F83C-11ER. In this one I will be explaining you what are the normal settings on the screen and how you can program it. So the buttons on the left, so the first button is on and auto for the fan. So that means that if the fan setting is to auto, it will be automatically run the fan when your furnace or your air conditioning needs it. If you put it to on, the fan will be running all the time. That option can be used in summers when you don't have air conditioning, but you just want to run a fan or to ventilate your house. It cools down your house a little bit, like by a few degrees, but it doesn't help much. It's just to ventilate your house. Then at the bottom here, the button, there are option cool off and heat. So if you put it to the bottom, your furnace will be running. So you're heating the house. Then if you put the button to off, it will shut off all the systems, your heating or air conditioning system. It will just show you the room temperature. Then you can put it to cool. If you have air conditioning, then you can run through this options. So now we'll go through the heating options. Heating and the air conditioning systems are same, just the temperatures that you have to change. Then next is on this side, you have upper arrow and the bottom arrow. That means you can raise the temperature or decrease it. This button menu gives you options to go to the schedule options or more settings. We will talk about that in a minute. Now I will explain about the display. So the bigger number here, which is 22 right now is the room temperature and number here, which says set to is the setting of your desired temperature that you want in your house. At the top here is the battery sign that shows how much your batteries are left. Then here is the time, which is the lifetime of your local time. This will also be used if you're using a schedule option. So that schedule option will follow the same time. Now here, if you see, it shows a heat because your setting is to heat. If you put it to cool, it will show cool or cooling. Then the button here is set time. If you press it, you can change the time. So first option is hour, then the second is minute. Then you can also change the day. And then when you press exit, that setting will be changed. Now there are these two buttons. One says hold and the second one says run. So if you don't want to program your thermostat, which means you want to set it to a desired number that you want your house temperature to have whole day, then you can go up or down. For example, I will set the temperature to 21 degrees and press the button hold. Now, if you see, there is a very little hold sign here. That means your house temperature will stay on hold until you change it next time. Now, the second option is run. So before we come to run, I will go through the schedule options that you can set your thermostat with. So this thermostat is five one one day programmable, which means you can set up five days, Monday to Friday, one temperatures, and then for Saturday and Sunday, different temperatures. So first you press the menu button here. Then if you see the schedule option is blinking, you press it once again. Now in this one, you can see it shows Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. So usually this wake time is 6 a.m. but depends on you if you want to change it. For example, I will put to 7 a.m. So it says wake time, then your temperature is set to 20. Then the next option is if you want to decrease the temperature when you wake up. So for example, you want to set it to 20 degrees. So I will press that. Then once you press next, it will take you to the next time. For example, you work Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., right? So you are leaving at 8 a.m. 
Now, because you won't be home from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m., you don't want your house to be heated up till 20 or 21 degrees. So you can decrease the temperature to 17 degrees. Now, you're coming back to house around 5.30. So you can put a return time for 5 p.m., which means your furnace will start heating your house at 5 p.m. and by the time you're home by 5.30, the temperature or the desired temperature to set will be there. Then the second, when you press next, then again, then this is a sleep time. It depends on your schedule. If you sleep at 10, you can leave it at 10 or you can do, for example, 10, 30 p.m. Now, what temperature you want, you can set it. You can do 20 degrees, for example. Now, when you press next, that five day program, Monday to Friday is set. Now you have to do the same thing for Saturday. And you do same thing for Sunday. So now your program is set. This can be customized depending on your choice of wake time, leaving for work time, coming back, and then the sleep time. Now, if you want to run your program system, the only thing you need to do is press the button run. So when you press it, that sign that was saying hold will disappear and now your thermostat will be running as per your program temperatures and the time options. Also, if you go to menu again, and there is another option that settings. In this one, there are multiple options that you can set. So the first option is a schedule type. So as I already explained, you can set up your program five one one day, which means Monday to Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. You can also do seven day, which means your schedule will stay same from Monday to Sunday. Also, if you don't want the program at all and you just want to control it, the temperature manually, then you can just put it to zero. I'll just put it back to five. The second option is E, which is early start. And then if you put it to on, what it does is the program that you already set, it will make those temperature reach at the right time. For example, if you set up 21 degrees for 5 p.m., that is when you're returning from your work. And if you put this option on, your heating will automatically start at 4.30 or 4.45, which means by the time you're back at five, your desired temperature will be already there. Then the third option is you can either set the temperature to Celsius or you can do the Fahrenheit. The third option is temperature display adjustment. So in this one, what you can do is you can change the real room temperature and you can go plus five or minus five from that one. For example, this or up. So the reason for this option is Sometimes the thermostat is placed in such a place that even if your other areas are warmer or colder, the temperature on the thermostat will be a little different. So that's just made to adjust it depending on your house. So for example, if you put another thermostat closer to this one and just check the temperature. So right now the temperature is 22. If that thermostat shows a temperature of about 23, 24, then you just need to make an adjustment to this thermostat. So it's just made for that option. And then the fourth, fifth option is DL, which is a display light. That means if you put it to on, the display light will stay on all the time. And if you put it off, then the display light will be only on when you press any button on the thermostat and it will stay on for like three to four seconds. Then the next option is change filter. In this one, what you can do is you can put a reminder. So for example, I will put three months reminder because the average time that you need to replace your uh, furnace filter is three months. That what it does is, for example, if you change your filter today and you put a reminder for three months, so every three months from today, it will give you a reminder to change your filter. And then once you change it, if you, for example, if you're late one, one week or so, then you just can make the adjustment, but it will automatically give you three months reminders. And that's it. Now it says end and will bring you to the display. So that's it for this. And if you liked my video and it helped you to any way, please like my video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.